Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another updated video with Righteous Fire, but this one's going to be a little bit more interesting. It's going to be incorporating Explodey into the Righteous Fire build to enhance the clear speed. A lot of the time after playing a build for a little bit, you decide I want to make this guy a bosser or I want to make this guy more of a map clearer. So I decided to show you guys, well, I'm going to show you guys the more map clear variant of this build. Now, just know that by doing this, we are actually increasing our single target um, because the main thing we're doing is we're basically picking up Herald of Ash, which does not work for RF, but will work for your Flame Wall and or Scorching Ray. So we're going to jump into a tier 16 Delirious map. Uh, Sextant's on with three Scarabs because I haven't done Legion yet. So let's go ahead and juice this bad boy up. So the links are still the same. I'm still using literally the exact same gear. The only thing I have replaced is I'm now using an Assonance and a Flammability on Hit Ring with a Fan the Flames Jewel. Um, and I will go over the skill tree modifications shortly for the Explodey variant. You'll notice my effective life has dropped as well. That is because of the Explodey variant. But just remember, we are still ro uh, running the uh, uh, Brass Dome. So, I mean, we are still very, very tanky. Also, I think my ping is fucked up in this instance. Yep, this is the... Bu okay. GG, please fix game. Let me just refresh that real fast. Hopefully it's good now. Good. Are we good? All right, we're good. Let's go. So the, the biggest thing, if you want to go Explodey variant on the build, is you're going to have to snag yourself a pair of Assonance Gentle Touch gloves. They are like four exalt minimum, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. They're somewhere in that range. Uh, they are 100% required, as you do want 100% form of explosion with this build. Now, unlike some other variants or in general auto bombers, uh, RF will never, at least RF Inquisitor, will never hit the, like, clear of, like, literally booming 14 screens at the same time. You can see there's a lot of lingering mobs here because of Beyond uh, that I have added on along with, like, Delirium. But I am extremely tanky on this build as well. I might even end up getting one shot in this showcase. But uh, if you've been following the build in general, you'll know that it's a very tanky build as well. So not only do you have decent clear, but you're still able to boss and you're still able to clear your maps. A nice thing about this variant as well is you are finally able to properly clear blighted maps because of explosion. Explosion massively increases your clear. Therefore, blighted maps are not a problem anymore. Okay, let me just move on. this pop a scourge abyss why are you making me backtrack ma'am okay we're gonna come back for that show you a cool trick here we're gonna go over here pop scourge then go this way Get stuck for 10 seconds because of delirium. Okay, good, good. Pop all this. Good, good, good. Yep, yep, yep. And now we should pour it right back into the middle of that breach. Okay, very good. What's nice about Explody setup is you don't really feel the need you press your vol righteous fire either because you you still want to hit a mob with your shield charge to start the immediate like cascading of chaining um via via your assonance uh touch basically like uh exploding off of the first targets or i don't know how to say that but yeah you get what i mean
Ooh, Austin's a little upset. Perfect showcase for a blight. So I'll show you how and or why Explody is so good for blight. Wait, what? How did they just teleport onto the pump? Am I stupid? Okay, I guess I'm just going to stand up here. I can't really show you guys. I've never seen that happen before. Is that a delirium modifier? A bunch of mobs just jump into a hole and teleport to your pump? Cleared. Okay. So let me go ahead and talk a little bit about the actual character and kind of like what we messed around with and what we changed. So, uh, the biggest thing is A, getting your Assonance Gentle Touch. And the reason why is... Um, when enemies are cursed, so let's read the text. Non-curse auras you inflict are not removed from dying enemies. Enemies near corpses affected by your curses are blinded. That part is irrelevant. Enemies killed near corpses affected by curses explode. So, um, this is going to sound kind of stupid. I've opted in one point on resolute technique just for more consistent clearing. You shield charge a target with your RF on. So when you meet the target, if it's a white mob, it's going to die instantly. When it dies, it explodes. When it explodes, we have... So it does 3% of its physical damage or life as physical. Over here, it doesn't matter which one you take it from. We have 40% physical damage converted to fire. And over here with Avatar of Fire, we get 50. So that's 90%. From the 90%, you get also Herald of Ash, which what Herald of Ash does is it basically gives you more burning, more spell fire, but you also gain 15% of physical damage as extra fire, which works for the physical explode, and the base burning damage is 25% of the overkill. I don't actually know too much about how that part works, but you want this to basically continue the explosions, right? Also really cool MTX. Now, what I did to make room for this is I basically dropped these two points right here, for res, since I'm basically just zooming now. Um, I also went ahead and chopped off this entire section. Now, the reason why I chopped this off um, is because I just drastically needed points because I wanted more AoE, because AoE really helps the Cascades kind of explode. So I traded this section and this section for basically coming down here to grab, boom, 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 again, for the AoE, not for RF, but for the explosion of the actual um, glove explosion itself, right? So this is 20% AoE. And then I opted out to come back into Amplify to grab the extra AoE. And remember on my helmet, I also have the area of effect enchant, not enchant, but uh, crafted, but you could just replace a life node with AoE. Then with the remaining points, I had to come over here, up, grab Avatar of Fire. Since I was so close here, I picked up Arsonist for two points and I anointed Charisma. Now, if you don't have the ability to um, have a really lucky amulet like this or a helmet enchant with like malevolence uh, reservation, I think maybe determination could be okay. You can also come down here and spec into the aura setup here, which should give you enough reservation. Uh, and then you can also take the 
15% increased effect here for your determination. You'll have a shit ton of armor if you come down here. So that's pretty much the setup. And then do not forget, you also need the Fan the Flames, where Fan the Flames is this one here, which ignites you inflict spread to other enemies. The reason this is good is when you're like, so say I'm here and I kill a mob here and it explodes all the way to here. And then this guy has a corpse, which has the proliferate on it. And then a white mob comes by it and then he explodes. And then when he explodes, he applies the flammability on hit, right? And then the corpse is still there. So it kind of like lingers and creates the boom boom. Again, it's not like as good as other auto bombing setups, but it's enough to still have like a viable build that can still do content. Then the nicest thing is, since your Assonance gloves don't have any form of resistance on them, you can straight up, like when you're doing things like Awakener or Guardians, you can directly replace it with like, where is my, uh, here's like my other gloves I have. They're a damage over time multiplier with plus one gems with increased damage over time. And this is like a really big damage increase for me, right? The other thing is, I'm still using the same helmet, but you'll notice I have a very small RF now. And the reason why is, the area of effect of my Righteous Fire itself... Oh, here, look, there's that lag again I was talking about. But the area of effect of my Righteous Fire itself is not nearly as important now because the clear is not coming from RF anymore. It is coming from the Assonance Explosion Chain, which means this is the point now where your RF damage would massively spike up because you can roll yourself like a conch burn damage helm and then I could get an entire new link, right? So my tooltip RF right now is 880k, but it would be a million if I had Conk on here because I could remove Conk for like Empower or Awakened in KOE or any of that. And that's when your damage starts to just really skyrocket with the build. Anyway, I hope that video or the video helped you guys out a lot. If you did or if it did, feel free to hit that like button. Don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I'm going to catch you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys all tomorrow.